What's a joke that's so stupid it's funny? I have many jokes about unemployed people. Sadly, none of them work. Why did Edward Woodward have so many D's in his name? Why? Because without them he'd have been called you a wooer. Hey, guess what? What? Good guess. Q. What's a pirate's favorite letter? Wait for them to say R. A. Yeah. You'd think so. But me first love be the C. What do you call a magic dog? A labracadabrida. What do we want? Airplane noises. When do we want them? Niyaw. A Mexican magician told his audience he was going to vanish on the count of three. He counted, you know, dos. And disappeared without a trace. Courtesy of my daughter. What do you call a broken can opener? A card opener. You can't run through a campsite. You can only run because it's past tense. Two cows are standing in a field. The first cow says to the second, Have you heard about this mad cow disease? It makes cows go crazy and then they die. The second cow replies good thing I'm a helicopter. A husband and wife were driving through Louisiana. As they approach Natchitoches, they started arguing about the pronunciation of the town. They argued back and forth, then they stopped for lunch. At the counter, the husband asked the blonde waitress, Before we order, could you please settle an argument for us? Would you please pronounce where we are very slowly? She leaned over the counter and said, Berger Kiaing. A man walked into a zoo. There was one dog. It was a shed zoo. I saw a commercial on late night TV that said, forget everything you know about slip covers. So I did. And it was a load off my mind. Then the commercial tried to sell me slip covers, but I didn't know what the hell they were. A plateau is the highest form of flattery. Guy walks up to the widow at her husband's funeral and says, May I just say one word? Sure she replies. Plethora. The widow says thanks. That means a lot. What do you get when you cross a joke with a rhetorical question? Three guys are walking through the woods when they find a lamp. One of them picks it up, rubs it, and out pops a genie. It booms. You have finally freed me after all these years, so I'll grant each one of you three wishes. The first guy immediately blurts out I want a billion dollars. Poof. He is holding a printout that shows his account balance is now in fact one billion and three dollars and fifty cents. The second man thinks for a bit, then says, I want to be the richest man alive. Poof. He is holding papers showing his net worth is now well over 300 billion. The third guy thinks even longer about his wish, then says, I want my left arm to rotate clockwise for the rest of my life. Poof, his arm starts rotating. The genie tells him it's time for their second wish. The first guy says, I want to be married to the most beautiful woman on earth. Poof, a stunning beauty wraps herself around his arm. The second guy says, I want to be good looking and charismatic, so I can have every girl I want. Poof, his looks change and the first guy's wife immediately starts flirting with him. The third guy says, I want my right arm to rotate counterclockwise until I die. Poof, now both his arms are rotating, in opposite directions. The genie tells them to think very carefully about their third wish. The first guy does, and after a while says, I never want to become sick or injured, I want to stay healthy until I die. Poof, his complexion improves, his acne is gone and his knees don't bother him anymore. The second guy says, I never want to grow old. I want to stay 29 forever. Poof, he looks younger already. The third guy smiles triumphantly and says, my last wish is for my head to nod back and forth. Poof. He's now nodding his head and still flailing his arms around. The genie wishes them good luck, disappears, and the men soon go their separate ways. Many years later they meet again and chat about how things have been going. The first guy is ecstatic. I've invested the money and multiplied it many times over, so me and my family will be among the richest of the rich pretty much forever. My wife is a freak in the sheets, and I've never gotten so much as a cold in all these years. The second guy smiles and says well, I built charities worldwide with a fraction of my wealth, I'm still the richest guy alive and also revered for my good deeds. I haven't aged a day since we last met, and yes, your wife is pretty wild in bed. The third guy walks in, 
flailing his arms around and nodding his head, and says, Guys, I think I messed up. A pirate walks into a bar. He's walking bow-legged, because he has a steering wheel chained between his knees. The bartender asks the obvious, why do you have a steering wheel chain between your legs? The pirate answers, yeah, I don't know, but it's driving me nuts. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. I stole this from online, but I used it at work and got a bunch of laughs. While using the step ladder, someone said what do you need that ladder for? I replied. I never knew my real ladder. This is just my step ladder. What do you get when you combine a dyslexic, an insomniac, and an agnostic? Someone who lies awake at night wondering if there's a dog. Do any of you have experience making the rock and rolls? I found the recipe in a magazine but I wasn't sure about it because the recipe calls for thyme and a bunch of other spices. I had them all, but unfortunately they were all expired. I decided to make them anyways, took them to a party, and they ended up all being eaten. Everyone thought they were delicious. I guess what they say is true. People love that old time Moroccan roll. A skeleton walks into a bar. He goes up to the bartender and says, I'd like a beer and a mop. A blonde and a lawyer are seated next to each other on a flight from Los Angeles to New York. The lawyer asks if she would like to play a fun game. The blonde, tired, just wants to take a nap, so she politely declines and rolls over to the window to catch a few winks. The lawyer persists and explains that the game is easy and a lot of fun. He says, I ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer, you pay me $5, and vice versa. Again, she declines and tries to get some sleep. The lawyer, now agitated, says, Okay, if you don't know the answer, you pay me $5, and if I don't know the answer, I will pay you $500. This catches the blonde's attention and, figuring there will be no end to this torment, agrees to the game. The lawyer asks the first question, what's the distance from the earth to the moon? The blonde doesn't say a word, reaches into her purse, pulls out a $5 bill, and hands it to the lawyer. Okay, says the lawyer, your turn. She asks, what goes up a hill with three legs and comes down with four legs? The lawyer, puzzled, takes out his laptop computer and searches all his references, no answer. He taps into the air phone with his modem and searches the internet and the library of congress, no answer. Frustrated, he sends emails to all his friends and co-workers but to no avail. After an hour, he wakes the blonde and hands her $500. The blonde thanks him and turns back to get some more sleep. The lawyer, who is more than a little miffed, stirs the blonde and asks, well, what's the answer? Without a word, the blonde reaches into her purse, hands the lawyer $5, and goes back to sleep. What was E.T. short for? Because he had little legs. What did one nut say when it was chasing the other nut? I'm a cashew. Knock knock. Who's there? Quiet horse. Quiet horse who? In a whisper, May. My dad called me the other day just to tell me this joke. A frog walks into a bank, and approaches the teller. He sees the teller's name tag read Paddy Black and says. I'd like to take out a loan, Mrs. Black. Certainly, says the teller, how much would that be for? One million dollars, replies the frog. Don't worry, it's okay, I know the manager. The teller is understandably taken aback by this, and asks if the frog has any collateral to cover this. As a matter of fact, I do, says the frog, and he reaches into his pocket and hands over a tiny ceramic elephant. What, says the teller, this is garbage. I can't take this. Well, take it up with my father then. The frog retorts. Oh yeah, and who might that be? The teller is quickly getting more and more annoyed at the frog. Why, it's Keith Richards. The frog is waiting impatiently, tapping his toe on the ground. Now, can I have that loan or not? Wait right here the teller says, as she storms into the back room, looking for her manager. There's a frog out there who claims to know you, and wants a million dollar loan. He claims his father is Keith Richards. He even gave me this as collateral, she says holding up the elephant. I mean, what even is this? The manager takes a look at the elephant and replies, it's a knick-knack, Paddy Black. 
Give the frog a loan. His old man's a rolling stone. What's the difference between Dubai and Abu Dhabi? People in Dubai don't like the Flintstones, but people in Abu Dhabi do. Two men who are out walking their dogs meet on a street corner. One says to the other, boy it sure is hot today. I'd really like to go into the bar and get a beer, but the sign on the front door says, no pets allowed, and I can't leave Fido alone on the street. The other man replies, no problem, just stand by the door and watch me, and you'll be having that beer real soon. The second man reaches into his pocket and puts on a pair of dark sunglasses, and then walks into the bar. The bartender looks up and says, hey buddy, you can't bring that dog in here. The man says, but I'm blind, and this is my seeing eye dog. The bartender says, oh, okay then. The man drinks his beer and leaves. The first man then puts on dark sunglasses and goes into the bar. The bartender looks up and says, hey buddy, you can't bring that dog in here. The man says, but I'm blind, and this is my seeing eye dog. The bartender says, oh really? I've never heard of a chihuahua seeing eye dog. The man, thinking quickly, blurts out, oh, man. You mean they gave me a chihuahua? Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos and don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it.